Yo, welcome back. This is Stu42 with another Minecraft video. Uh, last time we did a bunch of automatic coal. Uh, I thought I'd sort of come back and show you what happened with that. We've ended up with this much extra in roughly 24 hours. Uh, 24 hours of real time, that is. Uh, so, like, it's not super fast, but we are getting quite a lot of coal through here. Um, the other thing that's worth noting is if I push F9 a couple of times you'll see that it's on a chunk boundary and one of the things I found when I came back is it actually broke here once I logged back in it was fine while I was offline but once I came back none of the stuff from here would make it over the chunk boundary and all I had to do was just break in fact I think I just broke this one broke this conduit and put it back um, and then it started sending stuff down here again and um, of course this refiner had run out of coal because it hadn't hadn't been able to push stuff through to it um, so anyway that is well that's end of that anyway um this time what we're going to do is i'm going to try and automate a bit more of the uh, canola so that we can automate our power a little bit more i really want to get that arc furnace up and going so uh, i'm not quite sure what sort of power it needs i think it needs 512 um rf per tick and i think it's rf but i think immersive engineering also has its own power i'm not entirely sure um I always thought it was RF. Anyway, we'll see when we get there. <laughs> as always, we'll do it as we go. Uh, so what I'm going to do is we're going to automate this. I've been looking at uh, not doing the forestry farm thing again because I've done that to death in previous packs. Uh, actually, additions we haven't used before. So I was going to make this thing the farmer, um, which uh, once placed plants and harvest crops like wheat, potatoes, canola. Canola is all we care about, so that's cool. Uh, it's a little bit to make. We're going to need four of these Inori crystal blocks, as well as an iron casing, which is four aluminium brass, block of quartz, some iron plates, uh, and some of this green gold ingots, uh, which will be five gold, two silver, a copper, and a cadmium. Actually, let's have a look. Now, I don't think we've used cadmium yet. Oh, plenty, plenty. So we get two of those. Um, and we want, we've got gold, and we've got copper, uh, what did I say it was? Two silver and one copper. Silver, yeah. Two silver, two silver, one copper. So I'd need a bit more gold dust if we were going to do this. I've got plenty of gold on the other side, um, but this will do for now. Doesn't matter which order, no it doesn't. Come on. Here we go, green gold ingot, awesome. And we only need four of those, so that's gonna be fine. Uh, I am gonna rip all of this stuff out and replant it in a square, I guess. I mean, I haven't figured out how big a recipe this runs for. Uh, can I let da da da? Oh, cool. I farm a 9x9 nine nine in front of it. For every operation, it uses 1500 RF. Excellent. So, 9x9 nine nine in front, 9x9 nine nine is awesome. That's big enough for what we need anyway. Uh, and the only other thing is the Inori blocks. Now, this is pretty easy to make. Actually, I might just grab more of that. So, what we need is one, two, three, four of those. And then all we need to do is over at our atomic reconstructor, throw all of those out, flick the switch, four and ore crystal blocks. Excellent. So there are a couple of ways we could have done that. We could have done that by individually doing each Inori crystal, which was an iron, uh, or we could do it with the block of iron and turn the whole thing into a block. 14,000 RF, not a problem for us. Um, got plenty of storage there. So anyway, I'm going to cut this here. I will go away and make the rest of this um, thing. I need to make some more power conduits as well. Um, and I'll replant. Oh, I'm probably going to do it in the same spot, to be honest. Might shift it a little bit. So what's a nine by nine? It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pwah. Okay, so it's nine out to there already. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so it's very, very nearly the size and sort of shape that we want it anyway. Um, so I will, yeah, we'll leave it there. I might, I might build it out a little bit. No, I'm gonna leave it here. So I'll 
fix that up into more of a 9 by 9 get the water straight in fact that one water in the middle will be enough um, for a 9 by 9 and I'll be back once I've made a few more cables and bits and pieces and we'll try and get this automated see you in just a bit right so we're back and I've made a few bits and pieces I made another couple of oil generators a canola press another fermenting barrel which is pretty good the farmer we are gonna throw down there looks like it's the wrong way around maybe that way I'm anticipating that the hole is the direction that it needs to put stuff in uh, now what we're gonna do is get some power into this so the way I thought we would try and do this and again this is just an experiment we're gonna throw a capacitor that was the immersive engineering one I think I found that was able to be made that's mechanism yeah too nasty still needs osmium HV capacitor so steel a block of lead aluminium treated wood and a block of redstone so I'm hoping that this will let me make it I mean at worst case scenario we're gonna need this anyway for the um, uh, for the arc furnace that's the word I'm looking for so power generation come transformer So I was hoping one of these would tell me which is LV and which is MV. So current transformer, 88 flux per hour. Current transformer, measurement device. No, it's just a measurement. Breaker switch. Put some wires. So redstone wire connector. No numbers in there. Hmm. Diesel generator, biodiesel. Doesn't tell us how much it is though. Basic wiring. Capacitor store energy. Capacitors, inputs, and outputs for the net. Relays, da da da. Two or seven blocks. Why well, is going to get to what's something? It's a voltage. Okay, so. Each connector has an input value 256, 124, and 496. So each wire has a maximum transfer rate. The connector limits how much power can be in, but multiple connectors can unify into a single wire. Whew. Maximum transfer rate is going to be exceeded. So if you make it bigger, chances are it'll work. But again, this is looking like it's going to be immersive engineering all the way as opposed to. Yeah, as opposed to being able to do RF. And I'm unsure if there is a way to store. So we are going to put that in the middle, that down the bottom, throw that back. We have some treated planks. We have some steel. And I can't for the life of me remember what the other bits were. Um, Aluminium, aluminium, that's what we want. Aluminium. Dunk, dunk. HV capacitor, cool. So, if we throw this down next to there. Yeah, IF. So, this is going to need specifically IF current. Now, I'm unsure if there's a way of converting. Hmm. All right, so this is just going to be a bit more awkward to kickstart this thing. I was hoping, I mean, we can use that later on anyway. Um, we'll probably need to generate some IF power for the arc furnace by the looks of it, unless I can find a way of, well, I find a way of converting between them. Uh, but for now, for this episode, we are just going to need to have a ton of these. So can we kickstart it? Well, actually, what we want to do, first of all, so what I've done is, ah, ah, this is an annoying bug that happens with this, this particular pack. If you br turn a till dirt into normal dirt, you can actually get stuck inside it. Uh, anyway, as you can see, I've made this a bit bigger. I've also used a chisel, not the normal chisel, but I've used the, uh, what's it called? Iron chisel? Iron carving tool. So I used the iron carving tool to carve those uh, steps in there. Um, so that we can get up here. Uh, what I'm going to do is we are going to do 
This is going to come through this way. And we are going to have a generator there. And a generator probably there. We are going to have our fermenting barrel. Now, if we want some powered stuff on that side, we're probably going to want it on that side. So let's put the fermenting barrel here. And the canola press there. And then power that there. We're going to need to kickstart that. So I'm going to kickstart this the same way we did the last one, which was with 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 a generator survival generator there we go so we are gonna do this we'll kick that to there this has already got some power we're just gonna throw that into there that's gonna make some power there we go and I've already not gotten enough of these, so let's grab some canola. Oops. Fail on the ladder. I'll fix that up a bit later on. Uh, we're going to have some canola in there. The press will go into here. Fantastic. And we're going to need fluid conduits hmm they don't connect but I do have a Yeta wrench now so we should be able to nope not that button ah there we go connected so we can have this as being insert that as being insert that is being extract always active. Now this is going to be a little bit of a pain because we haven't got the right tube still. It's going to fill this bottom one first before filling the top one. I don't think the gravity is going to work with us on this, but this is now feeding back into this. We no longer need that. And we can get some stuff. Now, just to check, Oh, it does. It does connect. We set that to insert. Was active. Yeah, there's no power going to there. All right, so we're going to find a different way for that. Anyway, for now, that is going to give us some power down to here. Once we hook that up. Awesome. Now, what if we put that in there? Yes, so it is in front of it there, and it looks like it's going to till the land for us as well. So it tills on one pass, and then puts the, <laughs> puts the stuff down on the other. Hopefully it'll leave the water in the middle. We're going to need to put some more of that in. Awesome, so that is now going to be putting canola seeds into there. And we can then run run our seeds back up to the top. So we're gonna to need to set up similar to this up there. So we're gonna to have to have another hopper, another another um chest. Why not go big? Let's go for one of those and one of those. Iron, gold. Uh, we do need another one for the tin. Five of those. Yes, five will do just nicely. Cool. And we'll make another set of those as well, I think. Ah. 
Now, what I might also do, because we have the hopper, the hopper's going to go, let's just do it on top, why not? We can, we've got the height, we can do this. And we can put that in that side, yep. And then we're going to need, where are the items? There we go, item conduits. So we want to disable that one. We want that to be insert. We need an insert item filter on that. I like having those ladder, that ladder there. That's pretty good to just sort of fall against. All right, so we are going to need to make ourselves another make ourselves another one of those a hopper and then we're also going to need ah oh, we don't have enough paper do we have any sugar cane in here yes oh we're getting low on that as well we're going to need to grow some more of that um yeah okay So it's one of those with paper around it like that. That gives us our basic item filter. We've already got some canola on us. So what we can do with that is we can filter it so only the canola seeds come back in. So let's put the filter in there. We only want canola. So that's going to insert. We want to, yeah, it doesn't really matter for metadata for that one. Um, we're going to go dunk, dunk, dunk. Dunk. Now that is not going into there, not going into there, but it is going into there. And we want that to be disabled. Yeah, we want that disabled. We want everything going through there because we're going to add our... Haha, -ha, all right. <laughs> I've seen the first mistake. We are going to need to go to the side. And we are going to need to do this purely because we need to do the little redstone super circuits across there. So we need to put that there, that there. This thing here can be insert, no, disabled. Everything can go through there with the filter. Right, so that goes down to there, into there, across the way we normally do it. Uh, this is going to have to go down the bottom. That goes into there. Now we have items, extract, always active. Cool, so it's only going to extract from the right hand side by the looks of it. I put one in there, it gets extracted. Yes. In fact, let's throw all of that in there. Make sure it gets up to the top into the chest. Huzzah. It'll feed down through to there, into here, across to that. Okay, we are getting a tiny bit of oil into that top one. Really not a lot though. So what I might have to do... How to do this? Well, I mean, it's still generating, I guess. It's just a matter of why is it generating? Why is it still cooking the oil? Oh, because we're still using power over here. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to get our super circuit maker stuff. Which I stored over here. We got some of that. We got some tiny piles of redstone, a screwdriver, one of these inventory scanners. This will just stop us from feeding too much in. So we need one there, one there, one there. We need the inventory scanner. Let's put it there and then tiny piles of redstone oh 
all the way across to there where we need the screwdriver to go like that. And this hasn't made enough yet because we're still... There's plenty there, that's not on. Well, it is going to use some, it is going to push, push that up by the looks of it. Cool, so this shouldn't stop until that gets full. So that'll get full, this will finally get some oil into here, which will trip that, set the redstone to on, which will then turn the hopper off. <laughs> Not that there's anything in it at the moment anyway. Uh, actually, let's grab... Grab some spares. Throw some in there. There we go. So that's going to feed through... Going to there, that's going to there. Okay, this is going to take a while. All right, I'm going to cut this here again. I'll wait for this to get full. It looks like we are managing to pump uphill, it's just pretty slow. Uh, and then we'll, once this gets to, like I said, about here, it should turn the hopper off, which should then shut the whole generation down until we go and use um, a bunch of oil again from either one of these. So this is not really, this is probably not the best setup. This is going to use a hundred. No, I think it should still draw from both. Like, if we're using more than 100 RF per tick, it should still uh, fire up both of these. Anyway, I'll be back in just a moment once uh, these are full, and we'll finish off probably this episode there, actually, um, and leave the arc furnace and all the power generation for another day, if we can convert the power, that is. Um, I'll see you back here in just a sec, though. Okay, we're at daytime again, and as you can see, I've disconnected this fluid conduit. This is not actually working with two of these going. I'm going to have to rethink how we do this. Probably have to wait until we get better. Um, ooh, lightning with no clouds. Um, probably going to wait until we have to get better fluid conduits anyway. Uh, what I was finding is these were both getting turned on, both draining more than this could produce. As you can see now, though, this is pretty much done. This is loaded up that should be turned on the hopper is yeah the hopper's not running so there's stuff in there it's not going through to the canola press which means our redstone thing's working um we're just gonna have to wait for all of this to process now and it's filled everything up so that's working on the inside now the other thing that i discovered the hv capacitor um as you can see there's now power in it um i made these basic universal cables from uh mechanism i think it is uh, but in the process of doing so, I realized that these HV capacitors are powered from the top. And I can just throw one of those on there. And as you can see, it is now getting stored with a bunch of power. So in terms of getting the power out of there, yeah, I don't know whether I go in and out through the same cable or whether we have a bank of these and they sort of feed each other. I'm going to have to do a bit of research between now and next time. Um, for now, though, we've got our platform up here. Um, we've got some power being provided to it. I think next time, now that we've got some... Yeah, it's going to hold a lot as well for immersive engineering. I think there's enough in here that even if we did break it and take it over temporarily, we could put ourselves a um an arc furnace finally and finally get some osmium happening so i might try and do that uh, next episode finally it's only been i don't know how many episodes in the making but this pack just seems to screw you at every turn uh in a, in a good way of course it's um definitely a ch nice challenging pack anyway i'm gonna leave this one here we do have some automated canola now um i mean i could probably pipe this canola through into there as well i may do that at some point in the future um, pipe it underground so that we can power the power in there automatically um, but for now this will do so um, as always thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time